Okay, นะครับ right now is uh five minute past uh nine already. นะครับ so let's begin with our class. นะครับ so welcome you all to cost management for decision making. นะครับ um right now if you hear my voice well, if you see my video well, maybe uh could you please type one in our live group so I know that the the signal arrive at your place in a very good manner. นะครับถ้าได้ยินเสียงผมชัดเห็นภาพผมชัดรบกวนพิมพ์หนึ่งในไลน์นิดนึงนะครับมาโอเคนะครับ so welcome you all to the new semester นะครับ I wish you all the best for the new semester and this is actually the second term of the year 2021นะครับ um, during the covid situation นะครับ we move online first นะครับ later on we have a discussion นะครับ if we have a chance to move on site นะครับ I'm very happy to do so นะครับ so maybe we can discuss about that issue later on นะครับอ่ะ uh, my name is Wasu Kiroti w i t i s e นะครับ I will take care of you in this course um, the course name is the course management for decision making so uh, basically we are going to apply uh, knowledge in number and make some decision okay um, that is a, a very interesting subject and we are going to look about that นะครับ not just From accounting perspective, we are going to look on the managerial perspective as well. Okay, so good morning, boom. นะครับ name อ่า tt นะครับ om นะครับกบนะครับ on nice fully nice fully นักทนนนะครับ pm นะครับ um someone with some some Chinese symbol. Okay. Um, thank you so much. I have many of you type one, so I know that you hear my voice pretty well. I um, have. We are going to meet together every Wednesday morning from 9 a.m. onward. I have. This is the first week. Basically, I'm going to provide introduction to you. After that, maybe we know more about each other a little bit. I have. Ah, so. You all are in my live group already. So if you have any question, if you need any support, feel free to let me know. นะครับ Even we stay apart from each other, but I'm sure that we can connect uh, together very closely. นะครับ If you need any support, if you have some question, uh, feel free to to reach me in 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 personal line, and as well as my email is always here. Okay. So นะครับ Uh, after The situation is better. We can meet on site, นะครับ Or, นะครับ If you maybe later on, if you you can let me know, นะครับ Maybe if you come to the the KMTL and you have on site on the Wednesday afternoon, so we can meet it on site as well. Okay, นะครับ So, um, I'm very flexible to you. So, if you need any adjustment, if you need anything that support your learning, please let me know. นะครับ I'm always here. Okay. So this is a course number one five o two six two o six. I have for the bachelor in logistic management program. I have, and then uh, we are going to move through with this class introduction. Okay. So basically, the first week I'm um, usually provide a brief introduction and uh, getting to know each others. So uh, we know more about you. You know more about me. Okay. I have. So we are going to move together for the next. Um, 16 weeks, and it's going to be a great term. So, when people think about the cost management, um, that is uh, advanced cost from the accounting. I'm sure that you study accounting before, uh -huh. but in this class, we are going to focus on just the cost component. Yeah. Whether you study in the logistic management. And after your graduation, whether you work in every company or you manage your own business, they are always concerned about the cost. Okay, now you sell your product, you provide service to your customers, you receive money. That is what we call cash inflow. After that, you need to pay some money to your supplier. Okay, you pay money to your workers. That is all about cost. So basically, when we talk about the cost management, we will look at those things from several perspectives: from the product perspective, from the process perspective, 
นะครับ so you will see several concept regarding to the cost management okay, นะครับ um I hope this thing find interesting to you and we are going to apply some cash in the logistics company in the airline company to to encourage you to look at the cost นะครับ okay So here is our cost description. Here is our, our cost description. A study of cost classification. Okay. So what does it mean, cost classification? Cost classification. There are several type of the cost. Okay. Later on, you will understand. We have direct material, direct labor, um, factory overhead. Okay, there are several type of courses. Uh -huh. um, it is important when you manage uh, the company. It is important when you manage your family business as well. Okay, I believe that some of you you have your family business. Some of you you are going to work in the professional career. Some of you are going to work in a multinational company. So we are going to discuss about the nature and the characteristic of the several type of course. Uh -huh. Direct material, direct labor, factory overhead. We also have an indirect material, uh -huh. indirect labor. Uh -huh. There are several type of courses. Okay. So this course, uh -huh, don't don't be afraid of the accounting. Uh -huh. We are going to look and we are going to apply it in a very practical manner, not just the financial statement that you might learn before. After that, we are going to discuss about the product costing, job costing, and process costing. Okay, you are going to provide some product. We are we are going to discuss about the measures of the product costing, job costing, and process costing. Okay. This thing will help you to make a good decision. And I have imagine about the company, imagine about the airline, whether you might love Thai Airway, uh, Air Asia, uh, Bangkok Airway, or uh, any airline in Onok Air. They are all concerned about the cost. And I have. So we are going to look at that now from the managerial or management perspective. You study in logistics, so we are looking forward to see that you are the executive, you are the entrepreneur, you are the owner of the logistics company. Yeah. We are going to look at the full costing and variable costing. After that, we are going to discuss about the cost volume profit analysis or CVP. Can I help? When you sell more and more, so volumes go up. Some costs remain the same. Some costs vary. So we are going to look at the cost and volume, uh, cost volume, uh, profit perspective. Okay. That thing is called CVP. Can okay, I have CVP? After that, we are going to discuss about the budgeting, capital budgeting. Okay. Oh, next year's our company we plan to invest in another. Uh, 50 million, 10 million go to project A, 20, 20 million go to project B, um, 5 million go to project C, you see. There are several projects that request the budget. And I have, so when you are going to approve the budget on several projects, so we need to understand about the budgeting. Yeah. After that, we are going to discuss about the relevant cost, okay, relevant cost. What does it mean? It means that when you are interested to make a decision, some costs are relevant, some costs are irrelevant. Uh, irrelevant. Uh, relevant is mean related to your decision. Irrelevant is mean not related. Okay. We are going to discuss about the standard costing and variance analysis. Uh, what does variance mean? Um, Next year, we plan to have a cost of the fuel, 1.5 baht per kilometers. But this is your plan. But the actual may be 1.4, you see? So there are diff between plan and actual. That is what we call variance. At the beginning of the term, you may plan for GPA 3. 
you see at the beginning of the term you plan for tpa3 this is your plan at the end of the term you arrive at 3.2 this is actual so there are some variance in terms of the plan and the actual so we are going to discuss why that thing happened okay so this is a cost description you can see in your curriculum have this is the same thing but at the first class we need to make it clear now. So um, you can understand the story that we are going to cover together in this, in this um, subject. Um, in the midterm and in the final, there will be a, a, a written examination, but no worry about the grammar. Now, um, as long as you carry the important point, you let me know and you arrive at the result. Now, no worry about the grammar. Now, don't worry about the grammar. Okay. Here is the cost description. I hope this thing is very clear and uh, very interesting to you. Some of my friends, they are working in the international logistics company. Some of them, they are working in the warehouse company. So um, as long as everything that you deal with cash inflow, the money that you receive and the money that you pay out to your customers, they're always about cost. So I believe that this topic will be very important for your career. I believe that this topic will be uh, very important to your future business. Ah, this is my uh, commitment to make it clear at the beginning of this term. So um, here is the objective. Uh, we require you to understand the basic cost management concept. Uh -huh. So you must be able to understand, oh, what is the direct material? What is the direct labor? What is the factory overhead? And how we arrive at those components. Uh -huh. That is the first learning objective. After that, you need to be able to estimate, analyze, and make decisions. Uh -huh. oh. For example, in the real life, you're going to set up warehouse A in the first location and warehouse B in the second location. Uh -huh. So you need to compare several aspects. Uh -huh. uh, is that convenient in terms of the transportation? Is that convenient? Is that good in terms of the facility as well as the cost? Okay. So uh -huh. cost is always one criteria when you are going to make a decision. Uh -huh. Why the, the distribution center usually put around uh, outer ring of Bangkok? Uh -huh. Outer ring in Thailand, we can say uh, Wong Wan. If you know the word Wong Wan, it means um, this, is, uh, this is Bangkok. So there are uh, outer ring. So the, the company usually put the distribution center in the outer ring because they are very easy to go to the uh, eastern part, western part, northern part of Thailand, you see. So, um, the decision to put it here, 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 usually related to the cost. You know? So we will not just calculate the cost, but, but I will encourage you to make some decision, which one is better. You know? And then you, know, you need to be able to determine the, the relevant cost on the given scenario. You know? So, and after that, this is the ultimate goal. You can apply that in your real world situation. Okay, so my, my ex, one of my expectations is that uh, when we study the bachelor, there are several questions from my student. Azan, my resume is quite short. Uh, how can I add it more detail? So I encourage you, if you love cost management, put it in your resume, okay? As your specialization, as your your proficient area. So when, when the employers or the, when you apply for the intern, they see, ah, oh, Mr. A, you, you like cost management. We also looking for the cost management analyst. So we offer you some position, for example. Yeah. So uh, my, my, my ultimate goal is that maybe you love this subject, you put cost management in your, your resume or in your CV. Yeah. If you have your family business, Maybe you apply this thing with your, your family business. Uh, that is the objective. Uh, so in the first session, uh, I would like to make it uh, very clear. So um, if you have any question, have a look on the introduction. Uh, 
I carefully prepare this uh, introduction uh, for you. So here is our learning plan. Uh, today, I'm going to discuss about the uh, introduction. Uh, uh, these two chapters, we are going to make it happen next week. Uh, next week, since right now, there might be some ad drop um, period. I have some of you still ad drop. Uh, so after that, we are going to move from the overview of the cost management and strategy. Uh, why we combine these two things together? Because when every business, they have their strategy, so they have to manage the cost. Uh, think about Thai Airway. They have the first class. They have the business class. They have the uh, economy class. And they also have cargo, you see. So, and also they have other business, for example, um, catering, you see. So each of them, they have their own strategy. So that's why some of the strategy, you need to be very careful of the cost. For example, economy, you see, you fly economy to, uh, you fly with the economy class to Japan, maybe 20,000. You fly with the first class to Japan, maybe 150,000. So the latter one, maybe we have a, a better relax on the cost management. But for the economy class, the cost is very critical. Okay. Um, we are going to discuss about the cost management. We are going to discuss about several types of the cost. After that, we are going to move on to the job costing, process costing, activity-based costing. When we see activity-based costing, sometimes we refer to ABC. Okay, activity-based costing. So um, based on this introduction, you understand that we have um, cost volume profit analysis or CVP. We have ABC or activity based costing. Can I have this one is very important in terms of the modern cost management. Uh -huh. After that, we are going to discuss about some cost behavior. And then in the seven week, we are going to have the midterm review. Uh -huh. Um, you need to group together and I have no more than four students to do a, a group work. I have, but believe me, I have, it won't be a long group. Uh, it won't be a huge work. I have four of you. I have, or three or two is also a fine. I have, but no more than four. Okay, I have, maybe we can discuss about the number of the group member later on. I have. Ah, so this is a story that we are going to, to, to work on together in the midterm. Okay. Um, if you have any question or you want to uh, know more in something, feel free to let me know. Uh -huh. And after that, we are going to discuss about the cost volume profit analysis. Uh -huh. It is not, not too difficult. Nah. It is not too difficult. Um, variable absorption, costing, budgeting, standard costing, and we are going to make some decision based on the numbers. Uh -huh. So I hope this thing find interesting to you. Uh -huh. So in total, we are going to discuss uh, 11 chapter, uh -huh, 11 chapter. Uh -huh. Each chapter, I will provide you uh -huh, a PowerPoint. Uh -huh. So no need to worry about um, material. Uh -huh. No need to buy any book. Uh -huh. If you understand uh, the PowerPoint very clear uh -huh, with, with our discussion in the class, I believe no problem, okay? Um, <clears throat> This is a very good um, textbook in terms of the cost management and have a look on the year, you see. So this is the latest one in the cost management a strategic emphasis. Uh, so in our course, we are going to apply this textbook as a main uh, learning material. However, I'm going to prepare you a PowerPoint uh, as well as some, some case study and I will share it to our live group before the class, as well as later on, I will put it in the KMITL goal as well. Okay, so uh, if someone asks you about the textbook in this subject, let them know that we use cost management, a strategic emphasis, and this is the latest one. Uh, uh, when, when I conduct any class, I, I will try to use the latest version of the textbook. 
นะครับ so uh, we will see a very uh, up to date information okay um so we we discuss for a fair while นะครับ I would like to introduce myself to you a little bit นะครับ uh, my name is Wasu okay uh, a man in this picture a man in this picture so um, I I love corporate finance นะครับ I love corporate finance นะครับ uh, I work uh, many many years as a corporate finance manager in the company before I turn to the academic career okay Um, basically, I deliver um, three area I have in 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 the in the in the lecture uh, in terms of the corporate finance, um, strategic management, and organization development. Okay, these are the three area that I basically deliver my course and my my training for the corporations as well as in the university. Um, I graduate um, doctor of philosophy in organization development from Samchan University. Um, certificate in organization development from from Stanford University USA. Uh, I study master of international business in Australia. Uh, when when I study uh, international business, I I, I pursue many courses in operation, um, logistics, supply chain, transportation. So that's why I I I love this field of the area. But but later on, I turn to finance in my career. I uh, have master of business administrations. I uh, have, but my bachelor. I have I I I study in terms of the electrical engineering. I have so if you know about the power, power. I have if you know about the telecommunication, the satellite. I have I study about that in my bachelor, and later on I turn to uh, business administration. I have this is my uh, brief background in terms of the 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 profile. Um, I turn. I turn to become a lecturer on 2018. Okay, so um, prior to my academic career, I just turned to a teacher uh, 2018. Uh, prior to that, I worked more than a decade in in several um, corporations in Thailand in terms of the uh, corporate finance and strategic management role. Uh, I I used to work with the PTT company, um, SCG, I have SCG Packaging Southeast Insurance. I have I also work with uh, Toyota Motor Thailand and and Unilever uh, before. I have so uh, more than a decade in the in the in the industry. I have uh, even right now I also work as an advisor uh, for some some company as well. Okay, I have so that is my 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 background. Um, my research focus on corporate finance, entrepreneurial finance, entrepreneurship, and strategic management. So uh, this is a brief of my background. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm not uh, that old lecturer. I'm just uh, 35. So maybe our age is not uh, far from each other. I believe I went to uh, my bachelor in 2004. And I graduated in 2008. So this is the year that I graduated my bachelor. So after that, I worked for uh, more than a decade and just turned to become a lecturer in uh, 2018. Okay, now that is my brief background. So uh, I believe that um, you are in your second year. Our age are not quite far from each other. So um, feel free to talk to me. So um, here is the teaching methodology. I have seventy percent will be lecturer lecture, and then another thirty percent will be classwork participation presentation. Okay. Next week I will let you know about the, the term project. I have, but no worry. I have the first term project we are going to make it happen before the midterm. This course utilizes case study, management simulation, and other forms of the participation. It is imperative that the student come to class properly and completely prepared. So if you have a look in the chapter one, now I share you chapter one material, I have that will be one chapter. I have, uh, my goal is that you understand the core concept, that you understand where is in our life. I have, that is an important thing. <clears throat> 
Um, here is a classroom. Yeah, maybe I let you know at the beginning so we work together properly. Yeah. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> If you want to open the camera, feel free to do that. But I respect your privacy. So in my class, I will not force you to open the camera, no worry. However, during the term project presentation, if we still make it online, you need to open the camera. Okay? Open the camera just on the presentation purpose so your friend can see you. And then later on, uh, we can discuss. Nah, I'm very flexible. If you are interested to move on site, nah, uh, I am also uh, flexible to do that. Nah, uh, we can discuss about that later on. So here is a class rule. Nah, be on time. Nah, we just meet once a week. Nah, so Wednesday night a.m. I will be always here. Okay. Acknowledge me if you are late due to an, an, any emergency. Nah, so. Let me know if you have any problem. Uh, minimize disruption, respect each other. Uh, basically, this is an online course. I deliver to you from my home. So um, maybe there are only a few disruptions. Be active in your group work. Uh, we can decide about the good numbers, maybe three or four members per group. Um, please take note of class explanation. You will develop your own revision notes for the exam and all of which will be included in the exam. But no worry, before the midterm, I will have a very detailed review for you so you can know which topic is very important for the midterm. Okay. In a return to you, I will go above and beyond to help you. I will push to get you the best result in this subject. Okay, I have my goal is here. Okay, so if you need any support, if something is unclear, uh, you need me to clarify, please feel free to let me know. If you need uh, individual discussion, feel free to let me know. We can meet online. Uh, I will give you some consultation time if you need, need that. Um, here is our line group. I believe that you are all in our line group already. So, but anyway, if you miss something, it is always a material here. 10% participation. Project presentation, 30%. Once in before the midterm and once before the final exam. And midterm exam, 30%. And final exam, 30%. Here is the evaluation plan. So here is the grading standard. You all know about that already. Okay, that is all about the introduction. Now, I believe that um, the thing is very, very, very clear. Um, from now on, I would like to ask you one thing. Maybe you can let me know in, in the line. Um, since today is the Wednesday, how about your Wednesday afternoon class? Is that online or on site? Ah, maybe you let me know in the like group. Type one online, type two on site for your Wednesday afternoon. For your Wednesday afternoon. So if I know about your, your Wednesday afternoon, so I can, I can make it um, consistent. Because if your afternoon class is on, on site and I make it online, or your afternoon class is online and I make it on site. So I want, I want to I want to make it consistent before between the morning and afternoon session for you. So you can better manage yourself. However, if there are some change in, in our in our um, delivery method, you can let me know. For example, Ajahn, um, the afternoon class they went on uh, they, they will go on site already. So yeah, we can move on site together. Nahab. Or if you prefer online, I can do it. Nahab. Everything I can do for you. Nahab. Okay, Nahab. thank you. Nahab. Uh, the first one, Nahab. 
and oi oi name nice to see you me boom on and on okay นะครับ thank you so much นะครับโอเคนะครับ right now นะครับ um we will we will not cover the first chapter นะครับ today นะครับ The first chapter, but the next week, once we come in the in the morning session of the Wednesday, we move on with uh, chapter one and chapter two. This week maybe there are some ad drop issue. There are some some um, some registration, some adjustment in terms of the schedule. But I believe that we make it very clear on what we are going to do together. Ah. Uh, from now on, you know, you all know about me. นะครับ My nickname is V. นะ V. นะครับ V stand for uh Wasu. นะครับ So um, if you if you want to to talk to me, maybe you can you can say อาจารย์ V. That is very easy. นะครับ Our age is not far from each other's. นะครับ Maybe I'm your just your older bar brother. นะครับ Ah, is there any question? นะครับ Okay, before we finish off today, นะครับ I want to learn more about your nickname, นะครับ So, uh, but but this is not the the class attendance um check, นะ No worry, นะครับ Maybe when I ask your, I I call your name, maybe you let me know two things. The first one is your nickname. The second thing might be your your brief hobby or something you you would like to to share to us, นะครับ I want to learn about your nickname, นะครับ So we can be, uh. Very easy to call each other, นะครับ And if you have, if you need any support, feel free to let me know, นะครับ Later on today, I will upload the material in the in the KMT Algo, as well as um, if there are some new material, I will share to our live group, นะครับ Okay, นะครับ Uh, I will call your name, นะครับ And then you let me know about your nickname, นะ So we know more about each others. My nickname is V. V. After we know about each others, maybe we can finish off today, and then next Wednesday we are going to move on with the um, full scale of the 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 uh, detail. Ah. Um, based on my paper, we have uh, 17 friends in this section. Maybe the first one, Kap Chai Chanara, Kap. My nickname is Kap. Top. Top. Ah, top. Nah, okay. Ah, top. Nah, thank you. Kap. The second one, Chayanon. My my nickname is Ford. Kap. Ford, right? Kap. Ford. Kap. Oh, very nice name. Kap. Ford. Okay. Very nice. Kap. จิรัติการครับมาออมค่ะออมโอเคครับ very nice ครับจารีรัตครับอ่าปีโป้ค่ะปีโป้โอเคโอเคครับปีโป้นะครับอ่ากำจัดภัยโอเค maybe we can meet him next week นะครับจิรัญญาเบนส์ค่ะเบนส์นะครับมะนัสนันครับบูมครับบูมใช่ไหมครับใช่ครับโอ้บูมโอเค very nice นะครับน่าบูมนาพัดครับไทยไทยครับไทยไทยไทยไทยอ๋อไทยไทยโอเคว้าว very nice name นัทนนกายครับนายโอเคกายกายครับกอกายกอกับกายโอเคนัทมนยูมิค่ะยูรินะครับยูมิค่ะยูมิโอเคโอเคยูมินะครับอ่าเวนิสครับ
ออนมงกฎครับออนค่ะออนโอเคว่าประชาธิปไปฉีดวัคซีนค่ะอ่าโอเคพี่โอปอโอปอโอเครัตนาโอ้ยค่ะโอ้ยพัชพลที่ติมาเนมค่ะเนมนะครับโอเคเวลไนส์ครับเออ how to เอ่อ pronounce this วัจนาวันค่ะวัจนวันครับไนท์ไนท์ไนท์อ่าเวลไนส์ครับวอร์เมดบายครับบาสบาสบาสโอเคลูกบาสครับโอเคครับอ่ะ very nice ครับ um thank you so much นะครับ maybe some of our friend maybe we can know them um next week นะครับ so today นะครับ thank you so much top four on people bed boom ไทยกายยูมิออนโอปออยเนม nice bus นะครับ so um if you have any question Feel free to let me know. Nah, I'm always in the line group. Nah, if you need any support, if you need some, if you have some concern, nah, please let me know. Nah, and again, nah, uh, we can make it on site. We can make it online. Nah, but basically, maybe uh, if you um after the midterm, maybe we can move on site. นะครับ but if you have any concern if you have some some problem feel free to let me know นะครับ I'm very flexible นะครับ it is based on our our agreement นะครับโอเคนะครับ so um okay นะครับ uh maybe this is the first um class and we just give you a a brief introduction to the subject นะครับ And if you have any question, feel free to let me know. นะครับ We are going to meet again together next Wednesday, and we are going to move on with chapter one and chapter two. นะครับ Um, if you need any support, feel free to let me know. นะครับ So that is all about today. นะครับ And then maybe we can meet uh กำจัดไทย and ทัพชพล uh next week as well. นะครับ And um, if you know some friend that they are didn't uh join this line group, please invite them. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone, and see you next Wednesday. Thank you, Kap. See you, Kap.